Welcome to Module 1, Lesson 1. Let's get started. Today we'll be learning how to multiply by repeating equal groups. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently. Throughout our lives, we will be using math in many real life situations. Today, we'll know that we're successful when we can write a multiplication sentence based on equal groups. Our first vocabulary word is array. What is an array? Well, a math model that arranges objects in rows and columns is an array. Here's an example. This array has rows. A row is horizontal. It goes from side to side. Here's one row, two rows. Notice how the number two is the number of rows and it corresponds to the first factor in the multiplication equation below. The first factor represents the number of rows or the number of groups. An array also has columns. A column is vertical. It goes up and down. This array has one, two, three, four, five columns. Notice how the number of columns is equal to the second factor in the multiplication equation. The second factor always represents how many columns or how many in each row. So here's our multiplication equation. Two times five equals 10. Two is the number of groups. Five is how many in each group. And 10 is the total. We call that the product. Look at this array. How many rows are in this array? How many circles in each row? Answer. There are three rows of four. That is three groups of four, three times four. How many groups do you see here? How many circles are in each group? Let's look. Well, the big blue circles are the groups. There are one, two, three groups. The smaller circles inside are how many in each group? One, two, three, four, five. Five and five. There are three groups with five in each group, so three equal groups of five. Answer. There are three groups of five. This illustration shows three groups of five. What multiplication expression can we write to match the illustration? Remember, an expression is not the same as an equation. An equation has an equal sign. It tells the product or total. An expression only has the two factors that are being multiplied. Answer, three times five. Let's draw an array to match the illustration. Based on what you see, how many rows will be in the array? How many circles in each row? Remember, the number of rows is equal to the number of groups. Answer, three rows of five, or three times five. Now I'm going to show you how you can draw this out. You have options. You can use pencil and paper at home, if you have a dry erase board, you could use that, but if you don't have either, but you have access to Google, there's a way to do it online. So let me show you first. I'm going to my web browser. I'm going to type jamboard.google.com. Jamboard.google.com in the web browser.
Notice when the window opens, there's a yellow or orange circle with a plus sign. That means I want to start a new Jamboard. So I'm going to press plus. Now I have what looks like a blank piece of paper or a clean whiteboard to work with. Notice at the top it says Untitled Jam. Now if I want to save this into my Google Drive, I would want to name it. So I'm just going to press on Untitled Jam and I could start typing. I'm going to say My Jam. But I could call it anything. <laughs> I'll press OK. Now you can see that my Jamboard has a title. On the left side of the screen, you see there's a toolbox. I'm first going to work with the pen tool. So the first tool is the pen. If I click on that, I have options for what size pen I would like to use. I also have options for what color. I'm going to choose red. Now going back to my question, three rows of Five. So on my jam board, I'm going to draw five circles. They don't have to be perfect circles. And I'm going to write one, two, three down the side so I remember how many rows of five I need. So there's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. Now I have my array. The next thing I'm going to do is just describe my array in words. It's always best to write at least one sentence when you answer a math question to explain how you got your answer. So I'm going down to underneath the arrow, there's a sticky note. Click that and I can start, start typing. I'm going to say my array has three rows of five period. Always have to have that period when there's a sentence or a statement. So I'm going to press save and I'm all done. So I'm going to press cancel. Now, if I click on my sticky note, I can make it bigger or smaller and I can move it around on my board. Next, if I wanted to share this with my teacher or with my parent or my friend, I would go to the top right of the uh, window, click on share, and then I can type in someone's email address. But I don't want to do that. I just want to clear my frame so that I can keep working on the same Jamboard. Clear frame. Now I can start again. Let's go back to our presentation. The next thing we're going to do together is this read, draw, write problem. Read, draw, write. I sometimes call it RDW for short. The first thing we need to do is read the question and pick out the important information. So it says, draw a picture. Hmm. We were just drawing an array, so I think I'm just going to stick with that for my picture. It says to represent 5 plus 5 plus 5. 1, 2, three fives. So that tells me I need three groups of five or three rows of five. What multiplication equation matches your picture? Now I'm looking at that word equation and that tells me that I can't just write an expression this time. I have to have that equal sign and figure out the product. So five plus five plus five. Going back to my Jamboard, I'm going to draw three groups of five. And this time I'm not drawing circles because, you know, you don't always have to draw circles. You can draw X's, for example, or any shape that you'd like to draw. Just keep it simple, though. You don't want to spend too much time on your drawing. And I need three rows again. This is the same array that we just drew but with X's instead of circles. OK, 
Okay, so remember, this time we need a multiplication equation. So I'm going to say 3 times 5 equals something. So how can we figure this out? Well, I know my 5 is pretty good, better than my 3 is. So I'm going to count by 5 three times. Are you ready? 5, 10, 15. The product is 15. But I'm not done yet. Remember, when you're doing your read, draw, write question, the last sentence or the last step is W. Write the answer as a sentence. So we want a nice, complete sentence that describes how we got our answer. So I'm going to my sticky note and I'm going to type my equation is 3 times 5 equals 15 because there are three groups of five. I counted by five three times and the product is 15, period. Now, I can change the color. I can make it blue. Press save and cancel, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see. There. Now I've read, drawn, and written. Okay, we did that one together. Now it's your turn. To do the next one by yourself. Are you ready? I'll read it for you. There are five students in the book club. Each student will read two books. How many books will they read in all? Draw a picture that shows five groups of two. Then write a multiplication sentence to solve. Okay, it's your turn to read, draw, and write. For the answer, look in the box below. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please, subscribe, and press the thumbs up button to support me. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.